at Princeton Review, um, I, I came up with the thought of, of here's the curve of the market, right? And everybody, you know, there, there are people who aim at the super expensive part, uh, small but very profitable. And there are people who aim in the middle where mm-hmm. the most, of, most of the people are. And I've, I've tended to aim, starting at Princeton Review, about one click south of the, of the right flank. So, mm-hmm. so, you know, the Acura kind of BMW, not the Maserati. Yeah. Right. And for the people in the middle, it's aspirational for the people at the extreme who are actually cost conscious at all. Uh, it's a really Doesn't good fit. product and it's mm-hmm. not stupid expensive. And, and thinking about who your client actually is, I think has been a, an important part of each one of these companies. Who are the schools I want to get in bed with? My the original name of to you was Tudor, uh, number two T O R, mm-hmm. after my old dog Tor. It was like a toast to uh, uh, to this dog who came into the office with me at Prince View was literally six feet away from me for fifteen years. Uh, we wow. were running together, he, um, and people would say, "Well, why are you naming this company after a dog?" And I'd say, "Well, I could name it Dog." Sh-. The the brands I'm dealing with, the USC, UNC Chapel Hill, Georgetown, mm. they're 300-year-old or, or several hundred-year-old global institution. I mean, these are incredible brands, billion, billion-dollar, you know, mm. multiple billion-dollar brands. There's no intel inside. This is no, like, people want to know who I am. We are there to support them. Yeah. We are not a brand. And the feeling of being humble about your brand especially as a startup um is also is also a part of that but working with the schools those are schools that are like just at the cusp of being harvard yeah but a little bit more approachable a little bit more uh uh, uh accessible 